Hey yogis, this whole stay inside got me trying on a hairdo from the 90s, so I'll pivot and show you. The one where you pull through your hair, like make a little loop and then thread it through. I know some of you guys will feel me. Maybe you try it on too and show me a picture. <laughs> but anyways, I'm here to show you a couple handstand uh, drills. So we're going to focus on stretching and strengthening and then how to fall out safely this week. So stay tuned. Find your mat and be near a wall. Thanks for watching Yoga with Shell. I'm here on the handstand journey with you. I am still learning how to master inversions and I'm teaching along the way everything that I learn. I hope that you can have fun with me and every week I'll be giving um, some new tips and some new drills. So shorter videos, but wrist mobility is huge when trying on inversions, and that you may already know. So let's start on your mat. Good, start by tucking your toes, all 10 toes. I know it's a doozy and it stinks, but right away we channel good intentions by rolling our wrists. Good, breathing fully. Let your inhales fill your lungs as you roll your wrist one direction. Open mouth, exhale, keep rolling going with the flow. Good. Turn the wrist the other direction. Roll them out. Good. Keep breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep your feet as they are. Lift your palms to your heart. Lift your arms up. Then exhale, right arm under the left. Find your arms to give yourself a hug. Grab for shoulders or find your palms. Keep your toes tucked. Lift your elbows. And exhale, bow as you sink back on your hips. Good. So seat is down. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, back down. Release your palms and shake out your wrists. The toes are still tucked. Send your right arm forward. And send your left fingertips to the right. Pull them back. Good. Find a gentle pull, but pull with intention. Good, and send your left palm forward, right fingertips, pull the left fingers back. Breathe in, toes are still tucked. Ready, shake it out like Tay, shake it out. We're here for three, rise to your knees in two, and one, hands to heart, lift with intention, arms reach up, left arm sweeps under the right, bend eagle arms or find your shoulders. Lift the elbows and then bow, elbows down, chin to chest. Inhale, lift one more time. Exhale, lower down, good. Shake out your wrist, shake out your wrist. Find tabletop pose and pedal out your feet. Good, channel the good, beat to your own drum. Toes are down, inhale, cow pose, drop your belly down, lift your heart. Exhale, cat, inhale the cow pose, and exhale the cat. Good, this time, inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, turbo dog, bend your knees to hover, lift your gaze. Breathe here, and exhale, cat. So shift your weight forward. Your knees are still tucked, puff up your shoulder blades. Draw your gaze forward, puff up your shoulder blades, and then we'll step into a downward facing dog. Tail goes high, so walk your palms forward. Find your down dog, breathe in. Exhale, come down to your knees. Your palms are underneath your shoulders, and we'll play with the scapula dip. Palms underneath your shoulders. So drop down like your cow, and then exhale again to cat. Good, and find this movement from here or in your plank. So really find that sensation as if you're floating your knees, puffing up your shoulders, pulling your belly in, squeezing your glutes, okay? Let's find that in plank. Here we go, find your plank. Cow is lazy, dropping down. Exhale, round and press. That's the instant sensation. Drop your belly down, and exhale, push. Good, this are your punching muscles, so think you're standing up for yourself. Not promoting fighting, just prom promoting strength. We're here for four, for three, for two, and one. Come back to your knees and shake it out. Super important, and so is strength. It's good to practice any crunch that you can do, any plank, and multiple of them a day. Here's another one that I really love. Lie on your back, good, and table, top your legs, and find your palms overhead like you're gonna do a handstand, good. 
then drop your legs to hover, then lift your knees and try to lift your shoulders as you extend and hover. Good, table tapping your legs. Good, stay here. Do this at least eight times for four. Shoulders lift for three. So good. Here's two. Then one. Good. Send your legs long. Send your palms long. Keep your palms there. Another great variation of drills I love are compression drills. That's really finding your belly to thigh connection and it's great for our practice that we'll develop. Good. It's often times as we learn to float that we send one knee to our chest. So keep your palms shining up. And this is tricky because you need a plow in your practice first. Send your legs up high to start plow if you've never done it. Hands come underneath your back. You can start there. Find support through shoulder stand. Send your toes there. Then send your palms shining up. Good. And now walk your toes. Try to get your toes to tap up to your elbows without falling. As high as you can go. And then walk back out. Three more times. Walk your toes. Tiptoe your toes. Try to get close to your elbows or your wrists. And find your plow. Good. Think belly to thigh. Compress, compress. Keep breathing. Find your balance. Try not to fall out. And one more time. Find your edge. Compress, compress. Lift your toes and gently unravel the shape. Hug your knees to your chest and breathe. Good. Letting that go. Come up to your knees. Send your left leg back or right leg forward and find a runner's lunge. So really slide your right heel forward. So splits, folds, they help hard inversions, compressing the belly to the thigh as we find more flexibility. So drive your hips forward. You can use your palms underneath your right knee to assist sending your hips forward, finding more stretch. Half splits, bow over your right leg, Good, and you can find full splits using props to help you gain more flexibility. You can stay in your lunge, lift your right arm, and find your left foot for a quad stretch, helping lengthen through your back thigh. Lift your gaze over your right shoulder. If it feels good, then maybe you slide your right foot slightly forward, your left toes back. Now every day in splits is different. Good, walk your palms back to center. This is a great place to slide a block underneath your front thigh or have a block or water bottle and a pillow on the side of your hips, lifting your hips. Think stacked limbs, shoulders over hips. Now engage your belly. Good, we're here for three, for two, and one, slowly slide out. And the other side, extend your left leg long. Good. Driving your heel underneath your knee and hips go forward. Good, really press forward using your palms strong through the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Half splits, bow over your left leg, bow. Flex your toes and then point your toes. So when your toes are down, that's one direction. Dorsey flex, toes are high. Can you find a point in the middle? That's the shape of your foot you want with your toes and handstand. Do a gaze towards your toes. And remember, a lot of inversions has to do with your drishti. Where are you looking? Where are you shifting weight? It's all about balance. Finding the right proportions, the right strength, and keep pressing. Slowly lift your left arm high. Lengthen, open and close the wrist whenever you can. Try to open those wrists and bend your right knee if that feels good. Find more length in your hamstrings. Lift your chin to your left shoulder. Breathe in and exhale, come back to the half splits. Maybe you slide it a little bit farther forward for your full split. Find those props. Walk your palms back and lift through your chest. Good, keep breathing. Stay with it a little bit longer. 10 seconds on each side, at least for four, for three, for two, and one, slide out of this. Find a forward fold, both legs long in front of you. Lift your arms high, breathe in, and exhale. Find your belly to your thigh, toes high to the sky. Good, this time lift your arms 
point your toes, find that middle point, right? Inhale, lengthen, exhale, belly to thigh, reach for calves, ankles, toes. Try to get your chest, belly to your thigh. Pull this fold wherever you're at. For four, for three, for two, and one. Lift up. Drill number three is how to fall safely. So this has a lot to do with your fear and it's totally understandable. Falling is scary. Now, it depends what inversion you're working on and how you want to start, but it is always smart to find pillows near you. A pillow or something safe and to practice really falling. But today we're going to go over a cartwheel approach. I find in my practice when I handstand, Instead of falling forward, again, it's that natural fear of falling. I tend to walk my, pan, my hands forward. I'm trying to get out of that and trying to learn to tuck my chin first and roll. We're not tucking and rolling today, but today we're going to take a little skater move. So face me and then plant your palms down to the earth. I just want you to start with a little skater. Step your right foot behind your left. Plant your palm and then step your left foot to the right. You can lift your palms up first if that helps. Just find a little hop side to side on your mat. A little hop. For two. And one. Maybe you're like me and adulting hasn't had you cartwheeling very often lately. So we're going to take it to the back of our mat and just attempt um, to get into handstand from the side as a cartwheel. So not can be a very minor attempt. More of a Floppy cartwheel, ready, look forward, then cartwheel. Maybe you're perfect, maybe you're more like me. Find a humble approach, right foot forward, plant your palms and try to cartwheel. So think about that approach. When you kick up to a handstand, if you're gonna fall, try to fall sideways. If you kick up to a wall, you wanna fall sideways or walk your palms back out. We'll try it again, other side. Plant your palms, think handstand, and then other side. Two more times, a daily trial will get you used to this falling. Plant your palms, take your time, you can go slow and try to hop into the stand and kick out of it. Again, taking with a grain of salt. Left palm down, try to get your hands right under your shoulders and hula lolly, hop, as graceful as it is to you. Trying it next on the wall. Okay, our final bit, trying on our falling out. So come to the wall and make sure that your wrists feel okay. This is a tricky bit. When handstanding, we're tempted to always face the wall. You face the wall and kick up, but then you train your body um, to always have that support. And although it's a good trial, the best trial professional handstanders say is to always have your face facing the wall. So this is tricky and listen, you can stay at any layer that you're ready for. So find your mat close to the wall and plant your palms. Good, plant your palms. Uh, they can start away from the wall and start with a, a standing split. So you can stay right here, lifting and uh, finding your split. Good, after practicing standing um, shoulders over a wrist, press your into the earth and maybe start to lift your left toes. Maybe your left toes go overhead then walk your palms closer to the mat and find your edge, send your toes, hips, and your shoulders if possible to the mat. It's okay if you're about a ways from the mat. It takes time to build strength. Try to hold for 10, nine, eight, tuck your chin slightly. We're gonna cartwheel one direction or the other or walk your palms forward in four, three, two, cartwheel, cartwheel, and fall. <laughs> as graceful as it is for you. We'll do that one more time. But pause to your knees. Take a moment, shake out your wrists. Once you're feeling ready, if you're ready, again, listen to your body, roll those wrists, and we'll take it from the other side. So one leg is always easier, it seems, than the other. Plant your right toes, plant your palms, and try to get your palms underneath your shoulders, and take a moment and slide your left leg up. And eventually, you will, it will start to lift your right toes automatically. But you can climb up the wall. If you need to start with the knees, then walk your palms all the way to the wall, to your edge. 
Maybe try to come fall the other direction. Intentional falling. Toes to the wall, hips to the wall. Try to get your chest to the wall. Slight tuck of your chin. Press the mat away, press the mat away. Keep holding. We're here for four, for three, to the left and two, and one. Practice the curtsy, fall against the wall, and then plant your toes. I know it's a lot, but take your time. Roll your wrist and just try again. Try once every day this week, or make it five days, and we'll see where we're at this Sunday. Thanks for enjoying. Thanks. Thanks for joining me on this journey. My name is Michelle. Thanks for watching Yoga with Shell. Please um, take it with a grain of salt. Listen to your body and safety first. Find strength, find um, stretching, and make sure that you're warmed up and strong enough and ready enough. You can have pillows on your side. We'll play with different variations of stretching, of strength building, and of practicing falling in future date. Namaste.